Hi everyone, it's Daniel once again, and welcome to another video of mine where I am talking about music, a topic I like to chat about once in a while. And here I want to talk about a plugin you would use for your musical programmer. This is Softube's tape plugin, tape. So let's go ahead and see what tape can do by following the magical arrow and the magical arrow is going to show us what you can do with this plugin so we're gonna go and see what the tape machine can do do and do and see what this knob does and this button that button that button okay let me stop that <laughs> so uh, i want to talk about this plugin because my first impression of this plugin was kind of eh. I didn't, I, there was hype around this plugin and I thought based on what I've heard, I thought it was actually pretty interesting. So I tried out this plugin and at first I didn't quite understand it. I didn't quite get it. I, I thought it was kind of rubbish, but that was my first impression. And I realized that when I gave this plugin another chance, I was able to get my hands on this demo version that you see before you and try it out for myself. And I feel that there's a big difference between hearing samples based on YouTube videos and other videos and also online compare to using this plugin on your own musical programmer. When you have a copy of this in your own hands and you use it on your own music tracks, you, you then can hear the effect of this plugin. So I want to go ahead and, and also give a little bit, I want to give easy details on what this plugin does. Cause I feel that sometimes you watch a video online and sometimes people who are making the video can sound kind of vague when they talk about the details of what this plugin does because like, someone like me the first time i was listening to samples and all that jazz i had no idea what to make of it but now i have a better understanding of it so let me go ahead oh, and also another thing if you want to hear a very good sample there is actually a good sample you can listen to regarding the uh, the effect of this plugin. If you go to the SoftTube website, they have samples of tracks and other songs, but the sample of the kick drum, you can hear the sample of the kick drum, what it sounds like before the tape and after the tape effects. And you can hear a very great example of the details and what this tape machine can do. So let me say this. What does this plug do? What does this plugin do? On a metaphorical level, using this plugin for your music is like using car wax on your car. You will be able to make whatever you're playing with, whatever you're working on, be more shiny. It will stick out more. It will have a little bit of life, more life to it, but it will do it in a very subtle way. And that's something that this subtlety is kind of the highlight of this plugin when it comes to its overall effects. Now, let me talk about what this plugin does on a technical side. So in a way, this plugin kind of acts as a and to me, it acts like another EQ. So it will buff up your track. It will make it stand out a little bit more. It will make it more shiny, a little bit, it'll give it more character. But yet again, like I said, it will make it sound more lively when you add it to your track. And I remember when I was using this for my, uh, for my last uh, musical track, I could really hear the difference before and after. But if, 
the thing is too, I think it would be a lot easier if you had a pair of headphones because then you can hear the details. So let me go into the details and also what all these knobs and all these buttons do so you, we can have a better understanding of what everything does. And don't forget, subtlety is the highlight of the night with this plugin. So here we have the nucleus of your plugin, which are these different tapes. So you have A tape, you have B tape, you have C tape. And as, as one uh, reviewer pointed out, he liked to designate the tapes as such, which I thought was actually pretty clever and hilarious. He called A tape airy, B tape ballsy, and C tape creamy. But based on my impression, I would say that when you choose the A tape, it gives more attention to the higher ranges of your instrument or your song. The B part focuses more on the lower parts of your song, the lower, lower register, the lower f frequencies. And then C is somewhere in the middle. It's in the middle of your high frequencies and your low frequencies. And then with the knob here, you can decide if you want a little bit of it or if you want more of it. And then you have the tape speed over here, which when you move it to the left, you're adding more of a bass sound and more attention on those lower frequencies. But then when you move it to the right, then you're focusing more on those higher frequencies. And so you kind of have to play around with the tape knob and the amount knob to kind of find a right balance for your reel here when you want an overall sound for your track in the end, at the end of the day. And then we have the side buttons over here. Here you have the dry wet knob, which I think any music maker knows exactly what that is. It's the knob you use if you, depending on how much you want the effect to af affect your musical track. And then you have the sp speed stability track um, knob. So do you want it, do you want none of it? Do you want a little bit of it? Or do you want it wobbly? Do you want it, do you want to go like that? It doesn't go that crazy. And then you have the high frequency trim. So do you want your high frequencies or your frequencies overall to really stand out? I mean, they end up sounding really shiny. Do you want them to be flat, kind of in the middle? Or do you want them to be very, let's say, mm, muddy, kind of muddy. They're still there, but they're kind of muddy, I would say. And then you have crosstalk, which is if you have multiple tracks that have this effect button on, then those tracks can, can bleed into one another. And it's basically for stereo based on what I've heard from other reviewers. And then you have your input and output. How much do you want this in terms of its loud factor? And how much do you want, do you not want to affect your sound with the output? And then you have the, I'm not quite sure what the noise in the off switch is here, but who knows? But then you have the run and stop button here. So let me play this. So yeah, tape's going, but wait, when you press stop, you get that cool sound. Start back up. It goes, and then it goes. <laughs> and as, as Arnold Schwarzenegger would say, this is really cool. Oh. <laughs> so I would say that if you're a music maker and you want to make your tracks lively, I would say that's the magical word. That's that's the word I go with when it comes to this plugin, then go ahead and try this out because I think everyone would like it if they do use it in overall. So thank you for watching. Check this out and have a good time.